OK, we're on. Well, I see colour. Oh, my God. So how's that? Woo! <laughs> That's a dinosaur. Picky snapper. Out here on the rocks. But I've got one. Woo! Oh, lovely fish. Oh. This huge fine specimen of a snapper went 10 kilos, 91 centimeters. I'm just going to fill it up. I'm going to be talking too much. So that's all good. I'm surprised that the skin is very thick, full of fat. And the fillet, oh, it's come up all right. I've left some skin here. And I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're done. I might as well keep cutting down this line here. There's one fillet here. And this one here, it is quite big. I can probably cut that. It's a nice little piece. And then this here, I'll cut right in half. Make some uh, fish and chip fillets. Okay, that's nice. Cut them into little pieces. Obviously, I won't be able to consume all this in one hit. So I'm just thinking about how I'm going to freeze it or give it to people. There you go. All right, so with the head, put it in the pan here. Put it in the, I'm going to put it in the oven. So I put some oil all over it. Put in some pepper. And put some garlic cloves in the cavity. Just cook it in the oven. It'll all cook up, and there's going to be a lot of take on that. Right, so with the frame, I'll pretty much do the same. A bit of oil, pepper. that there my friend I'm going to throw onto the barbecue grill that won't take long at all and there'll be a lot of meat that I can pick out of the bones dear beauty cooking the frame of the barbie just pull in like that yeah that fits there pretty good that won't take too long oh yeah baby just turn this upside down yeah that's coming up pretty good Nice and juicy, it's not too, not too overcooked. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. In the meantime, I've got these beautiful snapper fillets. I'm going to just grill them on the barbecue as well, but on the hot plate. And just really simple. First thing, I'm going to salt them up a bit. And a bit of pepper. Nothing too much. And I was going to use some garlic salt. I love using this stuff. Ooh, this is getting pretty hot. So I want to turn this grill off. Alright, so I'm just lightly coated with some plain flour just to protect the flesh when it's on the hot plate. Oil in here. And just put the uh, fillets right here. I'll put the thick ones on first because that will take a bit more extra to cook. That should be okay. I almost forgot about this. I did ten to the to the frame and the head. It's coming up, that's going pretty good. It's going very good actually. Very happy. Alright, so these are ready. We'll put them on the Plate here, it is dirty because I want to dress it up really fantastically. But that's your snap fillets right there. Right, so there you go. I had the head in the oven 
for a good half an hour and that's really coming nice. So I'm going to really enjoy that. That's the head bit. And then the frame, you just saw me grill it up. And I'm going to put these fillets right where they belong back onto the fish. One big snapper. There's only a few fillets. I'm using the whole head frame. I just had a little taste and it's pretty delicious. I'm gonna bring it inside. Put a lemon. That's that's it. Basically that's it. I'm excited. Mind you, this is not always talk for me. But I'm just gonna have a little taste of what I was paying out to be, but I go for the cheek on this fish here and there's just a lot of meat. I reckon that's really nice. Mm. It's a big fish, so it's a bit fibrous, but that's delicious. Now for the fillet, which is right here, I don't want to destroy. There you go, beautiful white flesh. Oh. That is nice, grilled like that, with the pepper and salt, and that was it. Bit of lemon juice towards the end. That was really delicious. Now I'm going to pick at the frame. Look how much meat you're getting off the bones. Mm. Oh, and the barbecue flavor is just fantastic. Mmm, delicious, absolutely superb. I'm happy. There's a lot of meat here. I'm gonna clean it up, have my tuck up, got the family as well. But that there is worth a dollar petite and a big thanks for everybody supporting me. Alright guys, so um that cook up was pretty good, but that head it just didn't look very good at all on film. So what I did I actually cleaned all the meat off around the head, around the the wings all over the place. And I got all this excess beautiful snapper and just doing it by itself. You could you could just do that. But I just wanted this something really special. Instead of season it up. A bit of salt. A lot of pepper. I've got some chopped up fresh parsley and a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna throw it all on here. And what I want to do is make, I call them fish cakes, I like to call it a fish patty or no, how do you say it, on the pulpit to the um, snapper head. So that's what I'm going to do. And just also some bit of cheese, parmesan or whatever you got. Right, so that's all in here. And then what I'm do, put it into a bowl. I need a bigger bowl than this. Crack one egg over it. Over it. A bit of, just a little bit of mayonnaise, so it becomes moist. And just sort of mix it up. I could use my hands. So I think I might do that. But and a bit of breadcrumbs too. Nothing too much, just to give it a bit of extra body and it binds up. A bit of olive oil, a bit more. That's it. Right, so to make these suckers is pretty easy. I mean, I, in fact, this is probably the second time I made them. And just like that, nice little patty. I've got this tray here for a bit of plain flour. It's a tip like that because when you cook them, they come nice and crispy around the sides. So I'll keep going at this. And I just tried one for the taste, and mate, it's pretty good. And they're really soft too because the fish has already been cooked. So you don't need to really cook it up too much. Probably make a few small ones. 
All right. All right. So there you have it. Snapper head meat cakes, fish balls, whatever you want to call them, patties. Simple as. Absolutely simple. Well, that's a big, big one, that one. Alright, so I've got the frying pan here with olive oil. A bit dirty because I already just tested one. But where we go? Exactly one. Nice, beautiful brown fried colour. Yep. Look at that. That is to perfection. Lovely. Oh my Taste test time. I've got a bit of lime, so I've got no lemons for some reason. I'm going to grab this one here. In fact, before I do that, let's crack it open. So that's just all beautiful snapper, all the spices and all the stuff that you saw. Nice and warm, so soft too. That is delicious, <coughs> absolutely delicious. Have a dip in sauce, tomato sauce, mayonnaise, whatever you want. A glass of wine, happy days. So that's the snapper. This is the heads. You saw me get the frame and the fillets before, and it's absolutely magnificent. Don Petit. See you next time. Stay tuned for more. Take it easy. Mmm. Thumbs up. Yum. Mm mm. Oh yeah. Fish taka. Fish taka. Fish taka, man. Fish taka. Fish taka. The fish taka, man.